So one other little trick that probably isn't worth a video, but I want to show it to you anyway because I've gotten a lot of mileage out of it, is um, randomizing ordering. So let me do var uh, result gets db.customers. Um, you know what, let's just use lambda expressions because I like to do that anyway. But I need my link up here using system.link. Okay, so db.customers dot order by c c dot contact name um, and then let's just let's select a c c dot contact name okay so so now I'm 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 projecting just the contact name column and since I'm only doing one column I don't have to as I showed in the projection video, I don't have to say new. I mean, I could do this, but it'd be a waste to throw an anonymous type around it. So so I'm just going to say c.contact name. So for each string name in result, I guess I should call it something more intuitive than results. Let's say contact names, just to be more professional. More readable variable names, good. Uh, CW name. Okay, so nothing you haven't seen before. I'm going to get all the customer names in order, alphabetical order, starting with the A's and the B's and so forth. Well, say we're running a sweepstakes, we're having a company party, and I need to uh, pick five random ones. Well, I could just go around and do some random searching and stuff, but something that I've, I think is actually a little easier is a var rand. It's new random. And then I'm going to, instead of ordering my contact name, I'm going to just say rand.next. Alright, so think about what this lambda expression is going to do. We give it a C, which we don't even consider here, and we just return a random number. Alright, before we were returning a contact name, the strings, and now we've switched it over to an int, int, and the compiler will make up for that. It says, oh, it's an int now instead of a string. No biggie. But now it gets a list of random numbers for each customer. So each customer, I'm, it's like I'm handing each, or uh, yeah, each, each one of my customers, I'm handing each one of my customers a random number. And then I say, okay, all, all you customers, please get an order according to your, your numbers. So they have to look at their paper and talk to each other and be like, oh, what's your number? What's your number? Oh, I'm less than you. You're less than me. Uh, so on and so forth. So they get an order of that random number. All right. And then I'm going to say select C dot contact name. All right, so let's uh, and then I'm gonna let's let's just drop another. T let's take the first five. Okay, I know I, I don't think I've shown take in a previous video, but basically all take does is four int i i up to whatever you got here five in our case. Let's just yield that many uh, strings. So let's run that and looks like our first five contestants on the Price is Right is. Carl Zablonski, Helen Bennett, Elizabeth Brown, Paula Wilson, Roland Mendel. You have just won a free, I don't know, cookie from our company. All right, if I run this again, we're going to get a different result set here because we get different random numbers every time. All right, so these are our winners this time, and so on and so forth. So sometimes you just want to randomly shuffle or move everything around your data set. Well, a nice, easy way of doing that is just ordering by rand.next.